How's it going YouTube? Today we got a new boss steed. Uh, a little late on the review on this one, but it's here. Got the Corsair, the CS29 NWML. I got blue micarta. When there's blue, I always normally pick it. Fortunately, they don't have the tin boxes no more, but it is what it is. Get a boat or ship. Normal little patch, microfiber cloth. And what's different about this one is it does not come fully assembled. When you first buy it, the backspacer and the cover plate are in this bag. And I was wondering why they did that, but I figured it out. It's better without it. I'll get into more into that later, but. This retails for $69, so about average. It's a VV price for Nitro V, so decent. Um, you got a 3.25 inch Nitro V blade, stone washed. Nice looking stone wash. Got a flat grind, I guess I'd call this a drop point. Kind of got a thumb ramp right here. Yeah, a three millimeter blade stock, 0.11 inches. It's about average. Gets down pretty thin behind the edge. I can see that. And it's uh, right in the average EDC length, I'd call it. It's 7.58 inches. Uh, compare it to, I got six knives to compare it to. Hogue Deca. US, USA made crossbar lock. About the same size, close to it. A little bit smaller, actually. And the Kaiser Escort, it's a little bit bigger than it. Bossteed Raccoon. And the Kunmu Pulsar. These are pretty much all the same length, so if you got the raccoon and it fits you well, this one will too. And two more, just because I got them out. These are not crossbars, the Echo, CGRV Echo. And the Civivi Sokoki. These are pretty close to the same length as well. Okay, you got a 4.33 inch handle, 0.49 inches wide, and the clothes width in the pockets, uh, 1.1 inches. So, shouldn't take up too much room in your pocket. You got T6 body screws, unfortunately. It's pretty lightweight too, 2.95 ounces. Let's see if you got any. Wait for weight relief. Yep, it cut out some inside. And the pocket clip is deep carry reversible. The cover plate, like I said, I always love to see cover plates. And this is a contoured blue micarta. They had three or four different colors. I think that green with the black blade. They had like a tan color. And one other one, can't think of. And as you can see, this is a crossbar lock. And this is their last model, I believe, that's adjustable. See those three holes right there? You can adjust the tension. And I believe they're doing away with that, unfortunately, because too many people are taking their part knives apart and can't get them back together. Which is not the easiest in the world to take these apart. Adjust them. Unlock the Kaiser, where you got to screw on both sides. Very easy. A little bit more difficult with these, but it's not impossible if you know what you're doing. You have a couple different deployment methods. You got thumb studs, 
can reverse flick it. And you can open it with the crossbar lock. I will say this one has pretty good uh, detent compared to my other ball steeds. I had to adjust those, but this one's pretty good right out of box. I built up quite a ball steed collection actually. Got a lanyard hole and the backspacer. And the knife did come sharp. Let's check that out. If you don't like Boston, you, you can't deny that if you've had one of their knives, they always come super sharp. I don't know. They're just really good at sharpening. Well, I'll hold it right. It's hard to do this behind camera. Yep. Not the sharpest one I've ever got, but very sharp. And then behind the edge. I do have an affiliate link for these down below if you want to check them out. Helps the channel out. Um Go over my dislikes on this knife. It's my probably my first boss steed without a good sharpening tool. It looks like it does from the naked eye, but the plunge ends right at the edge. It's kind of hard to see on camera. But take my word for it. <laughs> In fact, you can see the edge is a little bit thicker at the back because it's already started. We'll say I love it. They don't do a lot of billboarding. Just a small little logo. Nitro V, Corsair. Nothing big. Love that. Uh, my next complaint. Um, I found out why these were in the box. Because it's better than with, without them. I'll tell you why. For one, check out this cover plate. It sticks up. And you can feel that too. It's like they didn't think about it before they put it on there. They could have moved this screw out of the way and moved this over just a little bit centered it and that would have been gone. And this, for this, um, I just don't like the lantern hole being down here at the bottom. Looks kind of goofy. That's just my opinion. I do love their brass pivot collar. Looks pretty good. Didn't like the looks of this knife at first, but it's grown on me. Glad I bought it. We'll definitely get some pocket time. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram, it's linked down below. Uh, give me a like and a comment. See you in the next one.